Time to play with some play. I screwed up. I started recording um, me filling in underneath this, these two feathers. And then when I went to turn off the cameras to set up a, a new shot, I realized that I didn't have the uh, GoPro 8, Hero 8 going. So I apologize for that. What I did was I filled in underneath these two feathers. Uh, it'll just make it easier to cast. And I did it in such a way that uh, it doesn't look like I filled it in, but hopefully it doesn't. But you need them filled in because you can't have deep undercuts. And uh, the deeper the undercuts, the harder it is for the uh, guy cleaning the bronze and getting it ready to be colored has in getting the bronze ready for that. If you can't get all the investment, and the investment is basically the uh, ceramic mold material that uh, gets left behind in the mold making of the bronze. You uh, can't leave mold material in the bronze because when you color the bronze it will show up as a real bright white spot and you don't want a white spot in your bronze popping out and bothering people's eyes when they look at the bronze they just spent several thousand dollars for So you try to artfully fill in underneath your uh, heavy undercuts. And I do it with a rounded tipped wire tool to give me a nice rounded undercut. It's easy to clean out a out rounded undercut than one that's got a sharp uh, back part of the undercut. Now, if you're casting in resin, you don't have to worry about that as much as I do. Alright, I've made the uh, new scalp lock and I've made a ribbon at the bottom of the scalp lock that uh, ties the end of the scalp lock, the braid.
All right, I made the uh, third feather. I did it off camera because it's just, you know, it's just a repeat of yesterday's. So I just didn't feel it was worth having it recorded again. Just to bore the heck out of you. Um, I'm going to put the finishing touches on today. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought it was going to because I kept trying to adjust different areas. And, uh, still adjusting other areas. I'm going to do right now is basically what I did yesterday, and that is to paint the feather that I just attached. And those watching for the first time today, I had some paint made up to look like the same shade of clay as I use. I took a sample of the clay to a hardware store where they have paints and they've matched the color of the clay and gave me a pint of indoor non-glossy paint. It's water soluble, so. I can clean the brush. Gonna hit those feathers one more time. It doesn't affect the wax at all. It uh, won't affect the casting either. It all comes out looking like bronze, no matter what I do. Just makes it less confusing for the eye. That's all. And when I photograph it, it'll look a lot better with it all looking like clay. Okay, that's going to be it for today. I know it's not very much, but it's all I can handle today. It takes me about three hours to uh, edit my video, and i got to still make my dinner and make the video. And By that time, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> all right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.